So as you guys may remember, just the other day I released a video on my one chunk piston house. A house that is filled to the brim with redstone contraptions that fits entirely within one 16 by 16 chunk in Minecraft. And I have to say I was pretty happy with this thing. It had all sorts of interesting contraptions, moving storage systems, toggleable fireplaces, and my personal favorite, the working garage door with pond exit system. You can see that we leave this place by being launched out by a slime block and then we travel up and over the pond and then out and off into the distance. It was pretty cool but in that video I also challenged you guys to create your own one chunk piston houses and you have. And I have to say, some of them are amazing. This first one comes from Omega Does Things, and they've created almost like a little security compound. This is hyper modern, we've got all sorts of grey blocks going on, and you can see that we actually have a little guarded entrance at the front here. So what we have to do is we have to get an employee's ID. We have to get one of those, let's just quickly grab that. We've got the worker ID here and then we have to present the ID to the guards. Let's just throw this over the top and you can see that hopefully, fingers crossed, if I've done this correctly, our door actually opens up and that's really cool. Look! So that door drops down and it also gets covered up by the block. So it's like a seamless, hidden away little piston door there. That's really nice. <laughs> I really like this. This is awesome. Now, I know what you're thinking. But what about this wall? That, that's a great security system, but what's going on here? Well, they've thought of this. If you jump over this thing, you can see we land on top of that tripwire and we fall down to the bottom. And we die. But if, say for example, we've got feather falling boots on and we don't die, if we walk inside here, which is the only way we can possibly go, we can look inside, think, hey, that looks really cool, but it's not going to last particularly very long because, yeah. Lava drops down from the ceiling. That would be painful. What a horrible way to go. I always appreciate piston houses that have working toilets. Any piston house with a working toilet is, is immediately marked up by about four points in my books. This place is just filled with really cool details. For example, this up and down piston elevator, up being my personal favorite, because as you can see, it relies on this wool being burnt out. And then eventually once all of that is gone, this flying machine activates and it sends us off into orbit. I would never have thought to do that sort of thing. I mean, it's totally ridiculous, but brilliant. But anyway, I think it's quite plainly obvious that this person has put a lot of time and effort into this. We have pretty much everything that you could possibly ask for. I mean, seriously, we've got storage systems, furnace, smelter arrays, viewing stations, it's just the whole lot, the whole lot is brilliantly well made. With a very stark change of tune here, we have got Daviator with a fantastic, fantastic looking build. I mean, this is the sort of thing that I wish I could do. Just how much detail is in here. Oh, it's stunning. And I personally like the fact that they have kept, they have kept the mumbo moustache on the front of the house as well. It's a brilliant detail. This looks amazing. I can't wait to get inside and just see what sorts of redstone contraptions that we have going on. <laughs> That is amazing! I haven't seen one of these in years! I love it! Oh, that is so much fun! <laughs> I think the way that I describe this place is just smart. For example, this wall right here just looks really cool. It's got the stairs going up it. But if we flick this lever, you can see that a staircase actually pops out of the wall. Now, it's a very simple redstone contraption, not too complicated, but it just it fits in so nicely. This piston house is a piston house that doesn't look like a piston house. When I build a piston house, there's redstone all over the place and you can see there's contraptions everywhere. In this place, you actually can't tell. And I think that's probably one of its biggest assets. I mean, look at this. We've got ourselves a crazy arrow firing machine. That's a mad defense station. Now I have to say this build has given me a lot of inspiration for future piston houses, just because it's shown me a completely different way of creating a piston house. Generally, I film mine with loads of complicated contraptions and make it all over the top. This is simple redstone contraptions integrated really nicely. For example, check out that thing. I mean, how cool is that for an emergency exit? You just get plonked out. <laughs> you just get plonked out onto the lawn. Oh, it's brilliant. And it's just so well designed. I love it. This is probably one of my favorite piston houses I've seen a very long time. And you know what? Speaking of smart, this garage, look at this, okay? Check out this idea for use of trapdoors. So these top trapdoors, they open up and then these trapdoors retract. It gives you a working garage system. Look at that. How simple is that? I mean, talk about good design. That is good design. 
That is amazing. I, I've I've never seen that before, and it is genius. I also like the thought of having a boat garage. I wouldn't mind one of those in my own house. But seriously, that is... Wow. Okay, this is going to be a difficult one to beat. I'm, I think I'm falling in love with this one. I want this in real life. Now, I personally would describe this next design as being very literal. Cyan Gaming has built a piston house. It is a piston that he has transformed into a house. And I have to say, it's a very pretty piston as well. I really like the slime dropping off the top of it. That looks great. And if we hit this button down at the bottom here, you can see that that will open up this piston door and allow us to go inside. And the inside of this place, well, it's very in-fitting with the already grungy kind of theme of the piston. And the first thing that I've noticed is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous mustache. I mean, I wish, oh my word. <laughs> what? How's that happened? That's hilarious. So apparently I am now equipped with the creator's head. I mean, you just never expect this sort of thing. So I've just sent the elevator up to the top, which I assume is going to be the bedroom area, but I couldn't help but notice this little lever down at the bottom here, which, wow, okay, so that activates, that activates this nether portal. Now I wonder, have they done stuff in the nether? I'm assuming not, <laughs> but we do have, we do have a lovely mustache face right there. And I guess if we pop back through, I mean, I'm assuming I'm just gonna pop back out of the bottom. Still though, I like that. I like that a lot. Toggleable nether portal hidden away underneath. There's lots of cool details in this place. For example, if I place a redstone torch on this block, that will open up this piston door right here, which will give us access to all of these chests, which of course have bosun hose. We have got bumbo cacto, no. We've got a bit of nether rack in there. We've got a mustache. We've got, I think, general redstone related bits. And then also sugarcane pillar, sugarcane brick wall. I'm liking it. I'm liking that a lot. And the bedroom is pretty interesting as well. We've got bedtime alert systems. We've got an archery shooting game going on over here. And a few potion brewing stands and everything like that. Just really nice cool build and I like the fact that it's inside a piston. This one by Jinjox is really cool because on the surface it looks absolutely tiny but then as you make your way down you see that actually it expands quite massively. Here we go and there it is. Yeah this place is this is a pretty huge one. <laughs> Oh, it looks mega on the side of the mountain there. That's really, really cool. Now, as far as I can tell, I need to unlock this vault somehow by using these doors. So I think I need to open this one and close this one. Okay. Maybe? No, that didn't sound good. There we go, we managed to make our way in. What a crazy way to have to get into a room. All right, and then I'm assuming we've got no more funny business going on here, apart from the fact that I, I, I clearly have forgotten how to use a piston elevator. So let's shoot through all the floors then. Floor number two is armor equipping station. We've got storage for various different items. We've got an armor stand swap over there. And then down here, we have got an armor equipping station in the floor. Very fancy. Floor number three is the bakery. We've got super smelter systems. This is the inputs to the super smelter. So you put the items in and they will elevate upwards and then make their way into the furnaces. We've got potion brewing stations, storage, and also storage chutes as well. So that's going to be sending the items upwards. Pretty cool. Floor number four is the storage. We've got all of the essentials there, wood, stone, redstone, and then the different farming supplies. Number five is farming. Once again, super important. You couldn't have a base without it. It looks like we've got all the important farms. Melon, pumpkin, sugar cane. We've got cocoa beans right there. And then if we wrap around like this, I do believe I hear the sound of a wheat farm. Villager powered too. Oh, and it managed to fit in chickens and cows as well. This is really impressive. And then finally on the top floor, we've got ourselves a lovely penthouse apartment suite. Once again, filled with just little redstone details dotted around and a flying machine that will allow us to go right the way up to the top of that hut that we had on the surface. I like this place. Yeah, I like this place a lot. Now this design by Jack Miller looks fantastic, but as I'm sure you can tell, my computer does not like this world. <laughs> it really is. It is seriously struggling with this one. I mean, what on earth has he built in this place? Now that that's all fixed, one of the main reasons why I really like this place is because of the way that they transfer between this layer here and the top layer. When I'm building this sort of thing, I tend to build hidden staircases or piston elevator type things. 
I'd never really thought of just having a levitating piece of floor. I mean, how good's that? You just do it and you pop up to the next level. And this level is filled with stuff. I mean, we've got farming machines. We've got shulker box storage systems. It's all here. I mean, what more could you possibly want? Well, you could want a bunch more rooms. If we just throw an item on top of this piece of carpet, you will see that that will activate this corner over here, which will allow us to drop down into the next few layers. So here we have a simple little storage system. And if we continue on from there, we have got, well, we've got all sorts. I mean, we've got super smelters. We've got potion brewing rooms. There's just, there's so much, but how much can you possibly fit in one chunk? Lots, because there's plenty more. I mean, we've got this room right here with a diamond sword counting machine. Uh, we've got these nether rooms that go through into these quartz areas. I mean, this place is enormous. This place is absolutely enormous. Look how much you have to go through to get back up to the surface. <laughs> crazy, absolutely crazy. Anyway, Mike Miner is another one who has managed to create an absolutely stunning looking one chunk piston house. This is a really pretty design. I wish I could build like this. I see, I look at this sort of thing and I just think to myself, I would never ever be able to pull that sort of thing off. But anyway, the way that we get inside here is we just flick both of these levers and you can see the walls actually drop down into the floor, which is fantastic. And if we pop inside, well, this place looks very spooky. I'm a little bit concerned to press these buttons. I have no clue what's going to happen. All right, so those are the lamps. And that's the drop. I knew it was gonna happen, but that puts us down into this room right here, which once again, beautiful. Really, really well done. And I love these little, they're almost like little exits. Oh, it's so cool. This is uh, an armor equipping station with extra things, swords, and shovels, that's the most important thing. I will always, as I say, I will always mark up places that have armor equipping stations. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. It seemed like it. That was pretty successful. So that drops us down into this area down at the bottom here with the little storage systems. And we also have, I guess this is a little sorting system as well. Oh, and we could go down even further into this area down at the bottom here. Once again, beautifully, beautifully decorated. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Not only do we have lava lighting, but we also have a lovely mumbo face right there. Really smart. All of these piston houses, they're all so different in so many different ways. People take on different angles. They try out different ways of building things. Some of them are super technical. Some of them are super decorative. This is why I love holding these sorts of contests because you just get so many different approaches to the same thing. Oh, and just as a side note, this place keeps going. I mean, we, we now have farms. We've got a farming area down at the bottom here. We've got enchanting tables. I think that's it. I mean, that's gotta be it. Surely there's nothing else going on. I think we finally reached the bottom. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get much more bottom than that. There were definitely, definitely nothing below this place. But do you see what I mean about the different approaches? I mean, this one by Glowing Mooshroom, I repeat, Glowing Mooshroom, apparently I got that name wrong last time I did a Piston House Challenge video, has built a UFO. And it looks brilliant. And I just want to say as well, they did a fantastic video showcasing this thing. It really is interesting. Right, let's take a look inside. So I'm guessing what we have up at the top here is some controls for our alien spaceship. We've got lever flickers. We also have uh, a, a useless machine over here. But then if we hit this button, I'm guessing this is the one that matters. It is. Can you see the elevator on its way up? Here it comes. It's gonna meet us up at the top in the UFO. And down we go through the, is it a tractor beam? I can't remember what the name of this thing is, but it's some form of beam and they have done a fantastically good job at decorating it. That is a really good combination of colors. It looks amazing. But now we're dropping down into this area, which is completely different. This looks like something out of Indiana Jones. So here we have fully automatic farming systems. We've got a little bread maker right there. Uh, it looks like we've got ourselves a lighting system. So if you flick that lever, you can see all of the fires switch on going around like that. That looks amazing. And then also it keeps going. I mean, it goes even further down. 
We've got this area down at the bottom here, which once again is just is beautifully done. I love the thought of having these trapdoors on top of this lava. I think that just looks that looks incredible. We've got shulker box swapping systems. Uh, we've got a sorting system right here. We've got bunk beds on the walls. It looks brilliant. It just looks amazing. There's not so much redstone going on, but it just looks incredible. I have no idea what any of these levers do, but I'm just I'm flicking them randomly. <laughs> and it looks like maybe they do nothing. So there we have it guys. Those are all the pieces and houses that I'm going to be featuring in today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed looking through all of the submissions. I also just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that built a one chunk piston house and submitted it. There were so many awesome entries and I'll put a bunch of other honourable mentions down in the description so that you can read through and check out all of the videos. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please draw to that like button and if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching guys. This has been Mumbo and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, and as per usual, I mean, you know what to do. Check out the latest film on the filming channel released yesterday. Yeah, you might as well watch it. Go on.